Howdy everyone, Pete Daddy here. Today we've been given the La Liga League objective player to grind for with this 85 rated Gonzalo Guedes. I know a lot of you may be looking to complete him because so many did the Jao Felix player of the month SBC. This is a strong link to that Jao Felix because they're both Portuguese, they're both La Liga. And you know what, Guedes has some bagels. We got bagels, Whoa! So I wanted to go over the best way, the fastest way to complete them. I'm going to share with you the team that I'm going to use to take them down. But before we do, if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. So first off, we've got five parts and we are back in managerial masterpiece. But let me point out one thing real quick. Now, I know a lot of you ask me, when do these expire? Well, this one is here for season three. And if we look in the top right, 34 days, 23 hours. However, just want to point this out real quick. I'm assuming they're going to fix it, but you never know. But if we look at managerial masterpiece, where we're going to be playing this, it says time remaining, 13 days, 23 hours. So basically, managerial masterpiece is only going to be open for two more weeks. However, they have extended it once before. I'm assuming they're going to extend it again, but definitely keep an eye on, out on that because as of right now, we only have two weeks, but I'm assuming they're going to fix it. Don't know for sure though. It's EA. You never know what you're going to get, but the first objective we have to take down is La Liga wins, and that's when 15 matches using only La Liga players in the starting 11 and the live foot friendly managerial masterpiece. And for those of you who haven't completed them before, the managerial masterpiece says you can only take a 77 rated squad in. So you have to be cautious and careful with who you pick. You know, you can't just take Messi and, you know, every high rated La Liga player. You can't, you can't, I mean, you can certainly, if you've got player of the month, Joe Felix, you can fit them in there. I'm just saying you can't combine so many high rated cards. You've got to be careful with who you pick. But I'll share with you the team that I think will work really well. So win 15 matches, that's the whole grind. So you want to, hopefully just knock out 15 wins as quick as possible. So the faster you can knock this out, the shorter your grind will be. The next one is score 30 goals using La Liga players in the left foot friendly managerial masterpiece. So the only thing I need to caution you about right here is I know a lot of people like bringing on Lone Mbappe or Lone Maradona in these challenges. But if you're banging in all your goals with Mbappe or Maradona, those don't count towards this because you need to score them with La Liga players. There's plenty enough great La Liga players to bang goals in with, so it should be a problem. I'm just saying if you're someone that brings on those lone players off the bench, then definitely keep that in mind. You need to get at least 30 goals with La Liga players. The next one, same thing, assist 20 goals using La Liga players. If you're bringing on subs that aren't from La Liga and they're the ones getting your assists and you may take you a little bit longer to get this one than it should, but I'm personally going to do this with all La Liga. Then we get to probably the hardest one of them all, and this is score an outside of the box goal using La Liga players in four separate matches. And it's not that it's that difficult. It's just sometimes it seems like you can shoot 20 outside of the box shots and none of them go in. And sometimes you just shoot one from an impossible angle and it finds the, the top bins and gets in the back of the net. So it's just there's no consistent way to score an outside of the box goal. My favorite way to do it is with a finesse shot from outside of the box. You know, maybe like one to two yards outside of the box. Do the finesse shot modifier, which is RB or R1, and then hold, you know hold that down while you press the shoot button kind of gives a, like a little bit of curve around the keeper. That's what I found the best way to do it is. However, I've seen some people who can just walk right up. If they've got really good long shots, they can just bring in a straight power shot from outside of the box. It's just no super consistent way. But notice that there's no win condition here. It may be something we can message our opponent and trade. Like say you're getting here and you've won 10 matches and you still need to, you've only done one long range goal, one outside of the box goal. Maybe you can message your opponent and say, hey, can we trade long range goals and then play, you know, then start playing at 1-1. So definitely help people out if anybody needs it. And then the next one is feeling finesse. Score finesse goal using La Liga players in six separate matches. So these two can actually be combined. If you are scoring a finesse goal from outside of the box, that should also count towards this objective. But sometimes I generally don't risk it when I'm trying to get finesse goals. I try to score two or three finesse goals a game. And again, that's the RB or R1 on your controller. Hold that down while you're pressing the shoot. And they kind of side foot it into the net. So even if you get like right in front of the keeper, I sometimes will do that modifier just to kind of shoot it around the keeper a little bit. So it's shoot usually not that big of an issue. However, sometimes I just do a straight power shot and I have to just kind of tell myself, okay, we need finesse goals. We need finesse goals. As long as I'm thinking about it, I generally don't have any problem scoring finesse goals. It's just sometimes you got to think about it because sometimes you just want to send that straight power shot into the net and some, you can just, just as easily do the finesse shot. So just keep that in mind to do that modifier. 
But let's go, let me show you the team I'm recommending to use. And again, you have to, you can only have a 77 rated squad. And let's take a look at the Geddes. Let's take a look at what we are playing for. I've got his concept card right here. Now I will say, I think this is a really strong card, but I think it's on like the slight lower end. For instance, I feel like that Gerard De La Feu Serie A League Objective player is much better than this card. And it's not that this card is bad, but you look at him, he needs boosting in a couple areas. Like for example, if you put a Hunter on him, his acceleration and sprint speed are now exceptional. 98 acceleration, 99 sprint speed with a Hunter. His shooting would be usable, but then you look at his dribbling and his agility is 84, his balance is 81, and it's not like he's one of those super tall players, you know, that's maybe going to you know, be less agile, but they'll feel okay in game because they're taller and can maybe body people off. So I feel like my ideal one would be to put a finisher on him, really boost his shooting, boost his dribbling up, but then his pace is maybe not quite where you want it to do. So it's one of those cards, like I feel like in January for this one, especially when we had like that De La Fay, which was an exceptional card. Uh, Bellerin was not a bad card either. I mean, he's not my favorite Premier League right back, but definitely had the pace, had, had what you want from a right back. I just think this Geddes could have maybe been boosted just a little bit more, you know, make him an 86 or 87. Like the De La Fay was an 86. Bellerin was an 85, but you know, we're getting into January. We're almost team of the year time. There's no reason they could not have made this an 87 rate and made him like 92 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, or maybe left the pace where it is and made the agility 91 and his balance 87. You know, something to where you can maybe make him just a little bit more usable because there's no perfect chem style. Now, you could put an engine on him, which would boost his pace a little, boost his passing and dribbling some, but then you're not touching his shooting. And I think his best position may be centrally because he has good strength. He has just like all these really good stats. It's just nothing overwhelming. But I, I do think it's a really good card it's just one that's just like just a hint off it's like if they'd have made it just a hint better it'd been just like a top level card pair him with your gel felix there's also so many portuguese leaks now with bruno fernandez and there was even a freeze bernardo silva cristiano renato San renato sanchez there's so many amazing portuguese cards there's even a new boosted jao cancelo that's out there but anyways it's a really nice card i still recommend completing them i just wish he was just maybe a hint better but this is the team I recommend. And like I said, I, I've got other cards on my team, and I'm sure you guys do too. But I try to present a team here that you could easily buy off the market. And we'll start up top. We've got Inyaki Williams, and we have Jao Felix Gold card. I think both of those are really strong cards. Inyaki just has exceptional pace. When you're playing in this managerial masterpiece, you know, sometimes you'll come across, like, you check out our center backs right now. We have Ruben Vizo, who's 77 rated. So you have someone like Inyaki Williams with 94 pace. You maybe could even put a hawk on him if you want to, just to almost max out his pace. And then that's where you can kind of get some easy goals and managerial masterpiece, abusing some of these lower end center backs because people you generally aren't going to put Varane in this because Varane is 86 rated, and then you're putting all your rating into center backs. So generally, if you can abuse some people with some pace, that's one of the best things you can do to get some quick and easy goals and managerial masterpiece. So, and Yaki, Jao Felix does is not a pace abuser, but he's got five star skills, he has great dribble good shooting so he is really nice on the wing I'm definitely recommending Vinicius Jr. now he is a left mid playing right mid but he is also five star skills he's got 95 pace I put an engine on him I, that may have been what he came with just but you can see there even on seven chemistry that takes him to 98 acceleration 98 sprint speed makes his dribbling top notch now his shooting could use a little work I'm pretty sure when I bought him he just already had the engine on him so I just left him there I'm pretty sure I bought this one yeah I bought that one at, at some point in time and then I also really recommend this Debele. he's a really strong card he generally does not go for a lot now there's a couple new SBCs out that maybe have inflated them and also keep in mind when these first come out some of these prices are going to be higher because some people are maybe just like oh I can get that Geddes and now I can link up my player of the month uh, Jao Felix and I can buy Renato Sanchez and Bruno and then you know they've got new links so people are the prices are going to raise up so if you wait a couple days a lot of these prices will come back down but Dembele is five star five star 
I actually move him to striker. What I actually tend to do is put Jal Felix on the wing. I play Inyaki Williams and Dembele as my strikers, and I play a 4-4-2 second variation. I have a tactics video on my channel if you want to check that out, but you know that that's how I'm going to play it. But you could certainly play it like this with Dembele on the wing and Jal Felix and Inyaki as your strikers, but I typically put Dembele as a striker and Inyaki as a striker and Jal Felix and Vinicius as my wingers. Right back and left back, I really recommend this Dest car. Not only because he's my American boy, but he's a really strong right back for a 75 rating. And that's what you're looking for, managerial masterpiece. Cards that can play well that aren't the highest of rating. And he's 75 rating with 87 pace. Does the good job at right back. At left back, I really recommend Alex Moreno. You can see there's 77 rated, but 89 pace will be able to keep up with some of the people. Oh, and I didn't talk about the midfielders. I really like this Kung Dagbia to be my smasher in the midfield. You can see they're 88 physical. He's just big and strong out there. Six foot two, just doesn't let things get by. But he also has decent passing stats and he's decent on the ball. You know, I really like this Kung Dagbia. Sometimes even in previous FIFAs, we'll get some boosted Kung Dagbias so that can just be OP cards. But definitely recommend Kung Dagbia. And I love this Marcus Llorente card. And he does goes for hardly anything on the market now. But he does so much. I play him as my two-way. CDM, so he's going to act well on defense. He's going to be great. He offers some help and or offers support and attack, so it's really nice. And then center backs, I recommend having at least one good center back. And you can see here we've got Militao, who's only 80 rated, so he doesn't hurt our rating too much. But he's a good center back for an 80 rating. And then he's got that pace, because like I said, sometimes what you'll come across is people that are going to pace abuse you, like I'm telling you to do. And so if you've got some people running at you and you've got a 75 rated center back out there with 60 pace, they're just going to dominate you. They're just going to run right by you because you don't have the tools to defend them. So this Ruben Vizo at 77 rating has a 76 pace and Militao at 80 rating has 78 pace. Now if you have a shadow to spare that's also great but you don't it's not required. I think I just I think I've had this Militao for months actually and I put a, I've had to play with him a couple times in my main team so that's why he has a shadow. If you've got one great if not don't don't worry about it. And then for keeper I generally go for the tallest keeper that's low rating. Robles is 76 rating but he's six foot five. Now, one thing I do want to address, this comes up pretty much every time. People will make this team and they'll be like, Pete, it says it's 79 rating, 80 rating. This doesn't work. Make sure you fill out your bench. You can have three silver players in your team. So you want three 65 rated silvers on the bench and then four 75 rated golds. Now, personally, I try to put some 75 rated golds that can come on as subs if I need them to. Now, there are better ones, but this is just what I have here. Like Opara, 75 rated. You could even sub him off for Vizo. Now you've got Opara out there at 84 pace. You know, you have to do that after the match starts. You have to go in with 11 La Liga, but that's certainly something you can do if you find you're getting beaten by pace because Opara's got more pace just on his base stats. You know, we've got someone like this Carrick who's 93 pace pace you know if I need to bring in a super sub because sometimes some of these gold players they don't have the stamina that maybe we're used to now so sometimes they may need subbing off so it's a good thing to have the other thing I recommend let me just get rid of this or probably just get rid of this Quintero I'll show you one that I like a lot if I still have them let me go gold I like having like a left back or a right back as a super sub because I can bring them on at the back if I need to I can bring them on in the midfield if I need to but this Pedrosa this yeah this is the one I think I like the most this this Mojica is 90 pace and he's great you know if Kandabia gets really tired I can bring uh, Mojica out here if I feel like I'm getting overrun at the back I can even bring him on at center back he's got some defending stats so you know if you need a little bit more pace and definitely I recommend having like a left back maybe a center back and then maybe like two decent pacey attackers that are 75 rated golds but notice this if I remove the 75 gold from the team look at that our rating top left there under La Liga Daddies goes to 78. So if you do not fill this out, your rating is not going to be right. So make sure you put your subs bench on here. It's, it's just not going to work. And take advantage of your three silvers and your golds. But I try to push this to the brink. Notice if I even try to put my 84 Carrasco into the team, that takes us up to 78 rating. So if you have other players you want to use, and you may have to make some other changes, but I think this is a phenomenal team that will help you dominate, help you win, get that, get, get us into your team as quick as possible. But Anyways, boys, this is going to wrap it up for now. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe down below. Check the description. Join my Discord server. But I will see you guys soon. Bye.